honeybees are our most efficient and effective pollinators, so they pollinate lots of fruits and vegetables. We've invited a classroom full of DC kids to come down here and put on the bee veil and a bee suit for protection. Uh, we'll open up beehives and get them into the hive like a beekeeper. I was like nervous. I thought that it was like, ah, was they're stinging. gonna bite me. The next time we go, we could not be afraid. A lot of kids are afraid of bees. And one of the things we want these kids to understand is that bees are immensely valuable parts of the ecosystem. They help produce the food we eat. Like, and they're like, they, when they're like moving, they're like, not straight. They're like, like moving and moving around, very curly and bumpy. We bring an observation hive to the classroom program. You get the oohs and the ahs from all the kids. They can see the activity of the honeybees crawling around on the comb. They can find the queen, which we have usually marked. Do you see the shiny nectar? A couple of years after the First Lady, Mrs. Obama, established a vegetable garden on the South Lawn of the White House, she decided to establish a pollinator garden as well and to set up a honeybee hive. Butterflies, bats, bees, birds, all of those that get attracted to the gardens. I think honeybees make a, a great vehicle to open young eyes that what's happening in nature is not just random chaos, that there's beauty and order to it. And I think this little creature creates a great opportunity to have children see that. Awesome. On the bus. Thank you so much. <laughs>